Hi, I'm Bob Hotrod Rohr from Cluffy, and I want to talk about flow switches. Cluffy's got a very unique universal flow switch that I want to show you. Flow switch, just like the name implies, it uh, turns electrical switch on as flow goes across it. So in this instance here, you can see we've got a paddle that goes down into a pipe, and as the flow comes across it, I don't know if you can hear that, but it makes or breaks a switch in there. So universal can be used in a lot of different applications. Let me show you the inside of it. I think I can explain some of the features a little bit better in here. On the graphic, you, you'll see that it's used there in a condenser in a chiller circuit. So basically what's going to happen when the pump turns on, the flow is going to come across that paddle, then the paddle is going to make the switch, turn on the compressor, turn on a valve, turn on a load like that. It's also used in boiler applications to fire up the burner. So as the paddle um, makes and breaks here, it turns the switch on or off. So the fluid comes across. And the most important part, I think, in this uh, Calefi switch is the stainless steel bellows that we use in here. Because the fluid is up inside this fitting here. So the bellows isolates the fluid from getting up in your switch. But it has to be flexible because it's constantly moving back and forth as this pump comes on and this paddle moves back and forth. So you can see that goes through a lot of cycling in there. So by making that out of stainless steel, we um, make it impervious to um, Bad water conditions, if you have a glycol that goes bad, the pH drops, it could attack like a brass bellows or a different type of bellows. So stainless is the best material to be used in there. So we use the stainless in there. Then we go up to the top here. We've got a 15 amp, 240 volt rated switch. So we can switch a pretty good sized load with that. Notice it's got a little spring in here. It's adjustable. So once you get this into the system and you fire up your pump and you want to fine tune that so the switch makes it the right flow rate, that's what the screw here with the little spring behind it allows you to make some adjustment in there. A couple other things that's important with this switch is we, um, we make it brass, so if it sweats on a, a chilled water system, it doesn't condense and rust. We give you a very nice enclosure for it. You can see we've got an O-ring seal there. That's a NEMA 5 enclosure, so it's dustproof, it's waterproof. It seals that in there very nicely. It's round. Round is important because if you have to put this in a uh, replacement condition where you have to take another valve out and you have to screw a switch in there, this is round so it can spin in a tight location like that. Some of the other brands are square and they're hard to spin in there. So by making the uh, switch round, we can get into tight applications. What I like about this switch is that we give you these um, leads already on the switch. We've got three connections on the switch. We've got a common, which is the power always goes into the common. That's always going to be your black wire. Colored wires indicate switch legs. So we've got a normally open and we've got a normally closed contact. So this switch can be used to turn a device on or can turn a device off. So we'll give you those options by, by putting the wires on here. Now you don't have to wrestle around trying to get a stranded or a, a solid wire wrapped around that terminal and getting a good connection on there. Now you can use a crimp. A connection, you can use a wire nut in there. So, we also give you a nice connection for the electrical here. You can see we've got a half inch threaded connection there, so you can put a, um, a BX connector, whatever type of uh, wiring you're going to use on there. The paddles are important, and I want to show you a little bit about these paddles. Out of the box, it'll come with the paddles that can be used from one inch to two and a half inch pipe size. So the diameter of the pipe is important because as you screw this into the T or into the weld fitting on the top, that paddle has to go down into the fluid and it has to go in there enough that the fluid can operate the switch, but not too far that it can bind on the bottom. So you'll have to trim this paddle, depend on the application on what size fitting you're putting the switch into. Now for larger diameter pipe size, we go all the way up to 8 inch, and that's where the universal comes in. This one switch fits a lot of different ranges. So notice that this is also stainless, just like the bellows, so it's impervious to um, harsh water conditions. But it's a very flexible stainless paddle. And it's meant th to be that way so that when the fluid goes through there on a large diameter pipe, it's going to arc that a little bit. It's going to turn the switch on first, but then it's going to arc it out of the flow a little bit so you don't get erosion on the end of that paddle. A couple things I want to caution you about when you put this switch in is that if you're going to make up your own fitting, if you're not going to use a threaded fitting off the shelf or weld a lead on a steel pipe, let's say in the, the last graphic there we show an installer that put it on a copper pipe, that nipple length is important because you're going to have to trim the paddle so that paddle just goes all the way in the pipe without rubbing on the bottom. So if you're going to customize the fitting with copper tube, you're going to have to measure and trim that paddle to fit in there. Now the installation instructions don't uh, make me remind you to read those. It does tell you in there the dimension between the bottom of the, the, the thread here and also where it goes in the T, but also we give you a dimension from the brass here to the top of the, the pipe. And with that dimension, now you can me uh, measure and trim your paddle. So that's the Cluffy Universal Flow Switch. Um, try it. You're going to like it.